G'day guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to play Heart Shaped Box by Nirvana, which is an awesome track. Now for the basics of this song, we will need our guitar in drop C sharp tuning. So in order to get to that tuning, basically for your low E string, that will need to go down three semitones to a C sharp note, otherwise known as D flat. And then all the other strings will just go down a half step. So we have A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and E flat. Those notes are otherwise known as G sharp, C sharp, F sharp, A sharp, and D sharp. Once you've detuned the guitar, we're good to go. The guitar I'm using in this video is the Fender Player Plus Meteora. Now in terms of tone, I've recorded everything using the Boss Katana 100 Mark II. If you want those Katana tone patches, I'll leave them in the link in the description below. If you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to improve any guitar in general, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. All right, let's jump into the lesson. All right, let's start with the main riff, which is played in the verse, and this is a lot of fun to play. Now, in terms of tone, I just have a clean guitar amp channel and I'm just using a bridge pickup here, no additional effects, maybe just a tiny bit of reverb, but that's it. So we're gonna start with an A5 chord shape. So you're just gonna bar your index finger across the second frets of your fourth and third string. So for our first four plucks, we're just gonna go fifth string, fourth, third, and then back to the fourth. So one and two and. Then you're gonna take your middle finger, or you could use your ring finger as well. And we're gonna bar across the third frets of the sixth, fifth, and fourth strings. And we're gonna do four plucks here as well. So sixth, fifth, fourth, and back to fifth strings. Now in the tab below, I've noted my suggested picking direction. Now you don't have to follow it exactly, but, but it's just some guidance to help you in what I actually do. So for the first bar, And that's all at eighth notes. So one, two, and three, and four, and. And then for the second bar, we're just going to lift all our fretting fingers here. We're gonna hit the open sixth string, hold that out for one beat. And then we have two plucks after this. So the fifth and fourth. So one, and two, and three. And then for the last three plucks, we go fifth string, fourth string, and fifth string again. So the second bar, one, and two, And the first two bars. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. Now the third bar is identical to the first bar. And for the fourth bar, we're going to hit the open sixth string. And then with our ring finger, we'll hit the third fret and quickly slide up to the fourth fret. And we're gonna pluck this another three times. So one, and two, and three. With your index finger here, put it on the third fret of the fifth string. We're gonna pluck that twice. And then we can lift everything and hit the open fourth string. Now everything is plucked at eighth notes here in the final bar. So one, and two, and three, and four, and. And that's it for the main verse riff, which sounds like this all together. So that's the main riff, which is played in all the verses. Now in the intro, if we wanna be even more accurate to the original recording, then we'll just need to tweak the final bar. So this is just a variation to the main riff that I just taught you. And I'll just be using this in the intro of the playthrough at the end of this lesson. But you could very well just use that main riff I taught you for the intro as well. So in the studio recording at the very start of the song, for this final bar, we're gonna hit the open sixth string then slide up to the fourth fret, hit it one more time, but then we hit the open fifth string and then back to the fourth fret of the fourth string. And then the third fret of the fifth string twice, and then lift all our fingers and we hit the open fourth and third strings. So the final bar in the intro. One, two, and three, and four. So that's just one little minor variation if you wanna get really, really close to the 
studio recording. But as I said, you can just play the main riff that I taught you earlier again and again, even for the intro. Next we get to the chorus and there's three lines of tab here. Now in terms of tone, I'm just using a distortion on my tone and I'm again using the bridge pickup here. If you have a Boss DS1 or DS2, then that's a great place to start because those are the pedals that Kurt Cobain used as well. So we're gonna start with our A5. We're gonna do this twice. After you strike it twice, mute it, and then we're gonna to go to the fourth fret of the third string with our ring finger. And we're gonna just do a half bend there. So one, two. And then we're gonna bar the third fret of the sixth, fifth, and fourth strings. Do the exact same thing. So two strikes on this chord and then the bend the first bar this next bar is similar to the final bar of our main riff we're going to start off the same way so open sixth string then hit the third fret of the fourth slide up hit it another three times and then the third fret of the fifth string and then we're going to go up to that fourth fret of the fourth and do another bend. So this bar. And the first two bars together. Now that is basically just repeated again for the third and fourth bar. So really in this chorus, we are just repeating those two bars. Again and again. Now in the second line of tab, we do the same. It's pretty much identical, except at the very end, after the final bend, we're gonna hit the open sixth, fifth and fourth strings. And that will take us into the third line of chords. So from the third bar of the second line of tab, For the third line of tab, we bar our index finger across the third fret, so this power chord. And we're gonna strike this with a or a For the second bar, we hit the open chord three times. Then we hit the fourth fret of the third string. Bend it up and then hit it twice while bent and then let it go and hit the open third string. So. The third bar is identical to the first bar and then the fourth bar is identical to the final bar in the main riff, so. So I'll play from the third bar of the second line of tab. So that's the chorus. Now for the very final chorus, it's pretty much exactly the same, except we have four lines of tab. Now for the fourth line of tab, it's identical to the third line of tab, except we don't hit the last note. So the very final bar, which ends the song goes like this. And that's it for the rhythm. Now the final thing I'm gonna teach you is the solo. Now in terms of tone, I'm using distortion and I'm using some chorus. And, and these were Kurt Cobain's two most used effects, a distortion and a chorus. Most of these tones can be recreated with these two. So for this solo, we're gonna start with the seventh fret of the fourth string and then go up to the eighth fret of the second and bend that up a full tone and release. And then we're gonna go down and do the exact same thing at fifth and sixth frets. So that's the first bar. And then for the second bar, we're gonna go down to the third fret of the fourth string. And then fifth fret of the second string. We're gonna do a half bend there and release. Then down to third, and then first fret, and pull off. And that second bar will sound like this. Now the third and the fourth bar are identical to the first and second bar. And then after that, we're just going to do the A5 power chord, and hold it out. So the solo just sounds like this. 
Those are all the parts to this song. Now in terms of structure, we just have an intro, verse one, chorus one, verse two, chorus two, then the solo, a third verse, and then a third chorus. So now I'll be doing a full playthrough of the song and I'll have a vocal track on top for some context. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to to practice, play along to, and see how you go.
Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you want to grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzerodihero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.